In this video, we will be doing a brief review of translations, reflections, and rotations. So, um, in problem number nine, we are to translate this pre-image left six and up two. So, that means we'll just simply move each of these uh, points left six, sorry, did I say up two? Left six, up five. So, look at point A. If I go left six, so that's two, four, six, and then up five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. This will be my new point, A prime. All right, similarly, uh, point B is gonna end up right here, and we will call it B prime. And point C is gonna end up right here, and that will be C prime. So the image is gonna look like that. For number 10, we are reflecting across the Y axis. So um, the Y axis is going to act as the reflection line. So the image will be the mirror image of triangle ABC. So if uh, since point A is two units to the right, a prime will be two units to the left. So this will be A prime. See how point B is five units to the right? Then point B will be five units to the left. Call it B prime. And similarly, point C will be five units to the left of the y-axis. C prime, connect your dots, and you're done. All right, so that's what your image is gonna look like. I almost forgot about the rules down here. So back on problem number nine, we went left six and up five. So that means um, X minus six for the left six and Y plus five for the up five. Now, when you reflect across the Y axis, the X coordinate changes signs. So this will become negative X. Um, the Y coordinate does not change. All right, as you can see, look at point A. The Y coordinate is negative one. A prime, still the Y coordinate is negative one. So the Y coordinate doesn't change, but the X coordinate does. When we reflect over the line Y equals negative X, um, understand that the line Y equals negative X is a diagonal line that goes downhill at a 45 degree angle from left to right. So it's going down one over one across the graph. So this will be my reflection line. So when you count squares to see how far you have to go to the other side of the line, uh, we're gonna count diagonally. Point A is half a square diagonally away. So I'm gonna go half a square on the other side and that will be uh, A prime. Um, let's see, point B. Diagonally, it is one, two squares away. So if I go one, two squares on the other side, I will have my point B prime. Um, let's see, what about point C? It is one and a half squares away from the line. So I'm gonna continue on this diagonal path there's my half and there's the one. Okay, so that'll be C prime. And so that will give us the image and all we have to do is connect the dots. All right, so at, when you step back and look at it, you can see that the green one is the mirror image of the black one if the uh, blue line is the mirror. Now, what we sort of memorized was um, when we deal with reflections over the line y equals negative x, the x and y coordinates switch places and change signs. So commit this entire chart to memory. Um, when you have coordinates, this is really what you want to use. When you have a graph, some, it's usually easier just to count. All right, but memorize these, it'll come in handy sometimes. So um, if, we, if y equals x was the reflection line, 
um, then all you do is uh, change the order. But if y equals negative x is the reflection line, then you change the order and change the signs. And that's what's happening here. Okay, so negative y, negative x, as you saw. For this one, we're going to reflect uh, across the line y equals x. And like we just saw, all we do is uh, change the order of the x and the y. So we can do y comma x. Okay, um, so the reflection line, the line y equals x is the diagonal line going uphill at a 45 degree angle through the graph. So you could do this by counting squares, all right, the way I did on the previous problem, or you could use the coordinate method. All right, so I think I'll use the coordinate method this time um, since I counted squares last time. So look at point A. Um, point A has the coordinates 2 comma negative 1. Okay, so that means um, point A prime will have the coordinates negative 1 comma 2. We're just going to switch the order. So negative 1 comma 2 is going to be right here. Call it A prime. Okay, similarly, and I'm just going to do these verbally, um, B is the point 5 comma negative 1. So B prime will be negative 1 comma 5. So negative 1 comma 5, so this should be uh, B prime. And then C is 5 negative 2, so negative 2, 5. So this should be point C prime. Okay, so the image should look like this. All right, and I hope, hopefully if you step back, maybe cock your head a little bit to the side, you can see that um, these are indeed mirror images of each other if this blue line is the mirror. Now, these are the rotation rules that you should have memorized. All right, so make sure these are in your notes somewhere, but more importantly, make sure they're in your brain. 90 degrees clockwise is the same thing as 270 degrees counterclockwise. Okay, and vice versa. Um, 180 degrees clockwise, 180, 180 degrees counterclockwise, same thing. So when you're dealing with 90 degree rotation, um, the X and the Y trade places. Um, if it's clockwise, the X value changes signs. If it's counterclockwise, the Y value changes signs. When you're dealing with 180 degree rotation, um, nothing changes places. The X and the Y stay in the same order. Only thing that happens is the signs change. So commit this to memory. Okay, so do you remember the rule that I just showed you? 90 degrees clockwise. When you're dealing with a 90 degree rotation, that's when uh, the X and the Y change places. So we're dealing with a Y value that's going to be here and an X value that's going to be here. However, when it's clockwise, the X value changes signs. So kabam. All right. So um, I'm going to definitely use the coordinate method for this problem. So point A is uh, 2 comma negative 1. And point B is 5 comma negative 1. And point C um, is 5 comma negative 2. Okay, so um, now I'm going to change places. The Y value is going to stay exactly the same. So here I'm going to do my A prime, my B prime, and my C prime. Okay, my, they're going to switch places. The Y value will stay exactly the same. The X value will change signs. Okay, so the, focus on the Y value since that's going to come first. So negative 1 will stay negative 1. 
but the two will become a negative two. Negative one will stay negative one, but the five will become a negative five. Negative two will stay negative two, but the five will become a negative five. So there it is. Um, these are the coordinates of my image. So negative one comma negative two. All right, that's going to be my a prime. Negative one comma negative five. All right, that's going to be my b prime. And negative two comma negative five. That's going to be my c prime. So my image is going to look like this. Okay, 90 degrees clockwise rotation. So you should imagine taking this pre-image and rotating it like this and it lands over there. Okay, last problem. Um, when you're dealing with a rotation of 180 degrees, all that happens is the signs change. So it's going to become negative x comma negative y. So if the original points are a, b, and c shown here, then um, to find uh, a prime, b prime, and c prime, I'm just going to change the signs. So this is going to become negative 2 comma positive 1, negative 5 comma positive 1, and negative 5 comma positive 2. So let's see, negative 2 comma 1 and negative 5 comma 1 and negative 5 comma 2. All right, so that's our a prime, b prime, and c prime. So your image is going to look like this. Okay, 180 deg degree rotation. So you should imagine, uh, for example, that you rotated like this. Okay, or, or that would be clockwise, or it would be the same thing if we rotated like this, counterclockwise, it would land in the exact same spot. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Go ahead and click here in the red apple to watch the next video. Click in the green apple to subscribe or click the yellow apple for the full playlist.